if you're new to what you're cutting and maybe to CAD and CAM, it might be hard to grasp, you know, the order of things, how you want to do things. So in this episode, we are talking about how you take the drawing that we've made into an actual part and those steps in between there. It's just very basic. Let's jump in. All right. All right, so I'm gonna open our last drawing that we made, the drawing 11. Uh, I'll just remove these dimensions. And now we have a part. So what do we do when we have this and we wanna take it into production? Well, we head over to our cam tab and there are four steps we have to follow. So the first is create. And that's also represented by number one on the keyboard. Contour, which is our toolpath, number two. Order, which is the reference point, is number three. And then process, which is the function that creates our code for the machine. So we go ahead and create a part. So I, I click on this and if we haven't set the machine and the material already, this window pops up. So we're using IGM CNC with these cutting parameters, aluminum standard 10 millimeters. That looks really good. Okay. Now look down to the left, create, select objects. So I select these objects. That's the part I wanna cut. And we get a preview of this. Part. We can set our part name, our quantities, uh, the qualities. Let's change the quality of the internal to extra fine. All right. So now we have a part and we have to have a part if we want to assign a contour to it. So I click on the contour command and this opens. We can either do this automatically with these settings by using automatic lead. Or if you want to design your own leads, you can use the, these settings here where you can get into a lead and you can change the type of piercings, um, the length of the lead and the radius and angles and overcuts. So you can do a lot of settings with this lead, but that's for a later episode. For now, we just use our automatic lead and click multi. Select this, enter. So we have, there's a lead in the corner and there is a lead right there. And when we're using the contour command, we can go ahead and go into edit part, click on this and select the part. It will always place internal tool paths on the cut order list first. So this is our first cut and this is our last cut. So always the internal holes for first. Close that. So now that we've done this, we want to place a reference point to this part. So I click on the order and I click on the part like that. And the default value is to the lower left corner because that's most of the times where you have it on the machine. Close. So now it looks like this, really nice. Head into process, our last step. So we can either create our file or our G code, or we can simulate it. Let's simulate this in 3D, all right. And in here, let's just start this. Uh, you will have the live code, so you can pause this and you can go into a row and you can just use your arrows to step down, see the movements. Uh, you can just hit play here. It's also a built-in collision detection in this simulation. So if you have a max angle of your cutting head, which is on this head is 46 degrees, 
if somehow the code would put this head at 70 degree angle, there would be a red zone here where that is. And that's the same with the collision. So if there are any collisions, uh, it will highlight in this bar right here. So let's close that and close that again. And I'm just gonna select this, Shift C for copying it. And just to make it pretty, use our ortho command like that, escape. So I just made a quick copy and you see that you will also copy the toolpath with that. But I'll select this and go over to your CAD tab and explode. That will bring it back to the CAD geometry. So if you're really in a hurry, you don't have the minutes it takes to set up this, there are also super automatic functions. So basically, in just instead of just going create, contour, order, process, if we have set our, our uh, settings in these before, we can just use the quick command. So I click on quick and that will make a quick version of this. So it can be super fast if you don't are very, very particular with like the lead placement and all of that. So I think that's a very basic way of demonstrating how the workflow is. You create your part, you put a toolpath on it, a reference point or a zero point, and then you just process it for the machine. Thanks guys, have a good one.